Hello YouTube, Philip20 here today and I've got something really cool I want to talk about. It's a Magnum Pure Sine Wave 4400 watt 48 volt inverter. This is an inverter charger. It's going to uh, be able to stack. You can put like six or eight of them together and run whatever you need. <laughs> six or eight of these inverters. That'd be a monstrous inverter. Um, so I've got the Ames inverter and it still functions, but it's struggling with, uh, turning on and off before. And now it uses about 4.8 kilowatts of energy a day. And the uh, Magnum uses that. That's just for being on. That's not the efficiency curve. That's not how efficient it is whenever it's running at a, that certain percentage of efficiency. That is for it to be on. So I decided to go with an inverter that instead of using 185 watts to 200 watts for being on, and that's continuously on, to an inverter that uses 26 watts. No, it's 25 or 24 watts, something like that. It's ridiculously low compared to the other one. So, yeah, I could run an inverter like that all night long. I mean, but it automatically turns on and off, and that... Uh, has a transfer switch on the inverter itself but what you're going to be looking at is uh me doing it similar and i'm going to clean up my system a little bit better it's going to be uh, pretty cool looking you're going to like it instead of having the inverter on the ground on the floor on wheels you're going to see the inverter on the wall now i do intend on using the 24 volt inverter so what i'm going to do is i'm going to get a charger and charge a battery bank with it it's going to be a smart charger and it plugs in a you know 110 volts on the receptacle not a whole lot just something that it, you know charge up the battery as needed and i'm going to attach the uh ames inverter to a stove and it's going to run my stove so whenever i'm cooking i'm running off of a 24 volt battery bank and whenever i'm running the sensitive parts to the house i'll be running off of uh the other stuff which is going to be really cool i'm going to put the uh charger that's going to be for the 24 volt on a timer so it times on whenever you know the system turns on and runs and you know turns off whenever you know whenever because it'll be you know i'll be running the charger off of solar power from the magnum inverter it's gonna be really cool i'm really excited to get this going and i want you guys to know that it's coming today i'm so happy gosh you're gonna love this it's gonna be a great uh addition i'm gonna show exactly how i do every part on every step and you guys are gonna like it it's gonna be a slow process but i'm gonna be putting out a bunch of videos for you and that way you can see exactly what I'm doing. I'm going to uh, show you, tell you what I'm going to do. Then you know, I'm going to take it out and then I'm going to do it. Now, I may cut a bunch of the time for, you know, screwing a screw in or just, you know, turning something. And, you know, I might do some time lapses. I haven't done any of those. I'm going to have to look into that, figure out what we need to do to do some time lapses. Uh, that's going to be really fun. I'm really excited. I can't wait to find out how, uh, I don't know. It's coming today. I'm just so excited. <laughs> yes, it's so great. I'll be able to run a lot more efficient because it's going to be a 94% efficiency versus uh, the 85% efficiency of the uh, current inverter I've got. And that's really cool. So, you know, I'm excited. This is Philip 20 with Solar Power, Electricity, and Electronics, and we're going to install this inverter ASAP, but we're going to put it all on YouTube. Have a good one. 